Hey guys, welcome to this part. In this part, I am going to add images. So, what you need to do is, you know, uh, first of all, I want to create a new project, which is, you know, part 7 of our AngularJS for beginner course. So, in the part 7, I have to copy the previous all files. Okay, so why there are three files? I need only one HTML file. Okay, so what we need to do is uh, we need to change, you know, in our phone JSON, we have an image URL. You see. We have a image URL, so you want to use that one. So how can we use it? Um, we can, you know, ng repeat phone in phones filter criteria. Okay, we can add one more class, which is thumbnail. T h u m b n a i l thumbnail, which is good strip class. Then I want to add a href equal um, phones and I want to give the phone ID over here so phone dot ID then okay so this is our ID and I want to give a class name which is thumb okay all right oops then I want to add image and source is um, actually if we add source it will not be affected what we need to do is we need to add ng source Okay, ng source is phone dot image URL, which is from here. This property, so phone dot image URL. Okay, and then what? So our attic is over here. then I can add one oops href this is for phones phone ID then what name phone dot name okay that means what I want to display that names over here and uh, it is also a clickable I mean you can even click in the ID I mean with the image if you click the image it is also clickable and name is also a clickable so what is the error over here oh so what is the error okay error is attack scene with already active line 2 oops basically you didn't close this tag over here that's why okay then what then everything is as it is before I think okay now we need to run chrome and run yeah hey you can see we have all the items here except the images but you can see if I 
if I keep the mouse over the image or the name you can see in the bottom there is a uh, I mean what URL index.html hash phones Motorola zoom with Wi-Fi even for the images also so if I hover over in the images or the name it is displaying that link that means if I click here it will go there okay but I need to fix that images so I need to add that image folder into the into my project all right I just added the image folders over here so we can look at image folder inside of the image folder there is a phones folder inside the phones folder there is a, there are images you can see there are all the images are over there so what we have to do is we need we need to just refresh the page yep so as you can see all the images are over here right all right now if you want to add more styles and oops I forget to add snippet so what you have to do is you have to add oops, phone dot snippet right it is not coming here because of what what is our um property name snippet oops double p t okay so still not coming yep name is coming over here but I want to make this images a small this thumb image but I already have added the CSS class but I didn't add the CSS class so what I need I need to add one more CSS folder which is CSS so instead of the CSS I have to add app.css so inside of the app.css what I have to do is I have to make a class over here let's say phones so in the phone CSS I have to add so first of all I can specify list style is none so list style is none then what then I need to make these images is a small so if you look at we already have that thumb classes but what we have to do is we have to make it float left you see float left then what then we need to make margin um let's say 0.5 em 1 em 1.5 em and 0 okay then fading bottom is 1 em height this now you will see the actual and width 100 up so can you see now so because of what So if you add float left that is going to the left then you have to add margin so if you add margin then you can see you know left right top bottom and fading then you have to specify the height and 
width okay so that means this is our CSS property for thumb but still we have some problem which is you can see this is outside going to be outside of the uh, list item that means what we have to add some other property for list you can see this is for list and this is for only thumbnail so what we have to do is for the list we have to add um, first of all we have to clear the uh, floating because oops clear oops this is not clear clear both then um, height we have to specify the height which is let's say 115 pixel okay hmm. then we can specify the padding top which is 15 pixel now you can see I think now it is more clear okay hmm that's great I think it's okay if we apply for every where it will be okay or you can you can make less or no or 15 15 is fine what do you think make 25 mm -hmm. if you make 5 this is okay and the 15 is fine okay all right so what we have to do is so this is for what this is for phone underscore line and so we have to copy this this is the easiest one I mean easiest way to write CSS so this is for phones ally okay and we also have another which is thumb for thumb what we have oh, we have thumb we have created here thumb is this right now what we can do we can refresh the phrase and let's see oops it is not applied over here why because of oops because I forget to add that CSS into our application so what we need to do is we need to add that CSS this is our app CSS okay yep so you can see now all the items are aligned right so if you have any problem in the CSS you can do what I have shown you that you have to click right click in a spec element if you are using Google Chrome or in Internet Explorer you can press F12 or you know Firefox you can press F12 or you know Firebar so you can modify the CSS over here and you can add those CSS into your CSS files you can see so if you want to specify the padding bottom to M this is for what which one this is not effect uh, because we have a specified the height mm, if you want to specify for example this height you want to specify height 50 so it will be 50 oops it is not going to be 50 because we made and see so it is applying across all the elements okay so you I mean this is the easiest way to modify CSS and write CSS okay so in this lesson you have learned how to apply the bootstrap classes and CSS classes over here
automatically it is changing over here but you can keep 100 as well okay all right so we have added link for the images and this no name also you can see it is showing here in the URL you can see so in next tutorial I'll be showing you if you click that images or name it will display the details for that product or for that item okay so I hope you enjoyed this lesson if you have any difficulty or any feedback please write in the comment box thank you